What's up, YouTubers? It is I, the Deep Voice Fan Collector, Brian Hicks. And today, I just wanted to share some of my polishing tips. Y'all been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> this is my two products that I use to turn that into that's in process but you've seen my mirror finishes okay first we start with the Meguiar's number seven show car glaze and we work it in you don't want to let this stuff dry use a liberal amount uh, you can get these products at Harbor Freight Pause here until I've worked it in. Okay, it's been worked in now. I'm going to wipe it off. Now we're going to apply the Mirror Glaze Wax. This particular fan is not going to get completely mirror finish because it is a 1978. Or is it 79? I can't remember which. I think K is 78. Um, anyway, it's a 78, and they didn't really make these mirror finish from the factory. Uh, the ones that do uh, really come out completely shiny, like the 90s ones. They completely made those mirror finish, and all I'm doing with those is bringing the finish back in this case I'm trying to make it shinier than it originally was and that's not always possible okay we're letting that dry trying to sp speed up the process a little bit okay and then you wipe it off You can look and see, it's a good bit shinier than it is here. Like I said, it, it's really not a massive difference on this as it would be here. Because these are already a lot shinier, such as all of those. Like I said, this being such an early fan... It never really was shiny because they had just uh, started making brass fans at this point. I think 77 was their first year, so they hadn't really gotten their process down correctly. Do a little spot here, see what it looks like. This is the uh, show, glaze, show car glaze again. And you want to do this in straight lines right across the whole unit. And you see, it's a good little bit shinier. Let's see. Then this is the wax side. I'll put a little bit more on there. I had been using Meguiar's NXT 2.0, and I still enjoy that product uh, for the uh, for the fans that I don't have to uh, really do anything to, because every one of my fans gets a wax job. Every one, whether they're painted or not. I just feel like it adds protection and it makes them look better. It's kind of not necessarily my trademark, but. Just one of the things I do to make these things better. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, like I said, I mean, the other product I use is Meguiar's NXT 2.0, and I don't think I have a bottle here. Yeah, I don't. I need to go get some. But that's it. Um, like I said,
I said, you can buy these. You cannot get this at Advanced Auto Parts. At least I don't think you can. Um. However, uh, I believe that you can. I know that you can get it at Harbor Freight. Uh, you can also get it online. Um, there are several different series, or several different numbers in the series, and uh, this number seven is kind of like. Uh, it's, what is it? It is, I mean, step seven. Like, step one is like a rough cut rubbing compound. And then there's number nine is a, a cleaner wax. So, I mean, like, this is, this is the last thing that you do, uh, before you, uh, before you wax. Like, after you've cleaned it, after you've, I'm saying when I'm in reference to a car, anyway, after you have rub, rubbing compound the car, polish compound, you uh, use this right here to uh, to remove the paint, the paint swirls and such. So in, in this case here, that's you know, if you had some swirls, which this fan does not, you could uh, use it on there. Here I'll give you a uh, because I have some more brass parts up here. This here is a good example of the mirror finish. Um, that's fairly mirrory. So let's uh, let's polish that. Okay, here's our number seven again. I'm gonna try to set this here. There we go. And again, using straight line rubs I'm not pushing too hard because if you push really hard you go through the you can actually go through uh, the brass finish because this on originals and other hunters it is actually a paint uh, or a, a tinted clear coat Oops. okay and look at that see there's a difference there and it's not even because it's not because this is necessarily dirty because it's not it's just that uh, I mean it might be a little bit dirty but not really okay now for the wax okay so we got a little another dab of wax on our rag You'll notice um, that I don't just, whoops. I need to get a dedicated camera, y'all. Come on, subscribe, please, donate. <laughs> do whatever you gotta do to get me a real camera set up. I wanna do live feeds in here you know, where y'all can watch the shop operate live 24 hours a day. I would love to do that. Um, but a lot of people, when they apply wax, they just go, and then we'll let it dry. I like to move everything out of the way first. I'm getting tired of the noises. Again, using the straight lines instead of a circular motion. I mean, you can use a circular motion, but I feel like um, it. You, you would rather have the straight lines because if you did create any swirls in the paint, or in this case, finish. I really don't know what you would call this, other than a tinted clear coat. So let that dry. I like to, if I'm in a hurry, as I am in this video, I like to just do something like this, or say in front of a fan, until I see it haze over really good, and then the magic happens. That is how I get my freaking mirror finishes that I have been accused many times of, of, of using photo editing. I, over the years, uh, just because of the way I do it, <laughs> my shirt, because I was inverted. It's my favorite shirt, y'all.
Okay, so, I mean, you, you, you see the gist of it, and you can tell you understand what I'm talking about now when I said that this here was never really going to be as shiny as this could be. And it's a difference of that between that and that. Which, I mean, if you really look at it, it's not really that big of a difference. Let's see how close I can get in. But at the same time, I mean, you know, it's... There's a good little difference of shine there. And you might not be able to tell it on the camera as good as I can tell it in person. Because it, it actually kind of looks dirty here. And yeah, I mean, like I said, there's... There's some, uh, some spots or something there, but I mean, this is, that's kind of like oxidation. And that really, really just cleans it up. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody, and watch out for the YouTube channel, y'all. Things are going to get better. They really are, because, uh, I have acquired eight cameras. Uh, from Habitat, they are 480p uh, security cameras that are, uh, unfortunately they're not pan, tilt, zoom, but I have acquired them, and I also have a video processor. Now all I need is a computer, and um, I think I already have one of those lined up, a Pentium 4, uh, or is it a Pentium i5 core, or whatever, I have it, how do you say it? But um, I'm pretty close to, to getting a live feed set up in here. And uh, I actually want to set a live feed. You can't see it, but I want to set a live feed under the carport for those four originals. And I want to set a live feed for the, um, for the two fans in the uh, sunroom. I mean, I've got to run a lot of wire to be able to accomplish this. And I've also got to have, have a computer and a big ass internet connection so um maybe one day we're gonna get there thanks for watching everybody and sorry to drag out the video so long explaining all that but i feel like it was worth it and to that guy that says i was i'm very long winded i totally agree with you i am long winded thank you for pointing that out by the way you may or may not be able to comment on this video, but thanks anyway.